I'm Kevin Clevenger, uh, computer science teacher at Blue Springs High School, just outside Kansas City, Missouri, on that side there. Um, been teaching computer science for 15 years, started out as a business education teacher, and now teaching these courses. Um, I'm a project lead way master teacher. Um, also certified teach AP computer science principles and AP computer science A. Uh, my name is Matthew Jansen. I'm a lead software engineer at Cerner Corporation, um, or a large company here in Kansas City, um, focused on healthcare IT. Uh, so we write software for hospitals and clinics and stuff like that. Um, this is my third year volunteering for Teals, and um, all three years I've been with Kevin over at Blue Springs High School, both for the CSP curriculum and the CSA curriculum. So we use uh, GitHub for students to uh, submit homework assignments, and we, along with that, we use uh, GitHub Classroom for them to click on a link to clone the repository to their repositories. You can think of it as a, a way to share code with other people. Um, we use it at, at work um, to share code between teams and between engineers. Um, but in, in the context of the classroom, each project is its own. Um, it's called a, re a repository, so each project is its own little um, self-contained folder structure. Um, and then each student has their own copy of that. So they're able to make the changes to the code, and then the, then um, they basically sync that code up to GitHub, and then us as the instructors are able to see the code that they changed. And in a little bit, we'll walk through kind of how their submission process is and how we're able to grade it from there. And one thing about GitHub is as educators, we can submit for uh, an organization which we'll show here in just a little bit, but it's free for educators to get unlimited private repositories. So that's a great thing for this. So here is in in all of our repositories, we have a README, which is basically just the instructions on what they're supposed to do. Um, some are more detailed than others, and these are these are projects that you can get from um, any other resource that you found online. We pull a lot from our textbooks, um, and this one is actually one that I just made up um, to kind of enforce the concepts. Um, so they'll get they'll get this repo and they they copy it and um, pull it down to their computer and then they'll just go through the steps and follow the steps like they would do on a normal project so in here when creating assignments use github classroom which is uh, the education side of that and sorry for the bell <laughs> um, and just create an assignment I, I have a classroom and all i need to do is create a new assignment in the assignment i create individual assignments Give it a title. Um, so, just like that, I can leave it as private. Then I go down here and add additional starter code. And at this point, I can actually do a search. Start to just start and roughly start typing it in. It does a search right here. Um, there it is. And I select it right there. I can put in a deadline when it's due by. The one thing we don't do, this one says grant students admin rights. The one thing you don't want to do there is give that to them because then they can go delete through repositories and you won't, you cannot see everything. By leaving that off there, uh, Matt or I are the admin of it. So we're the only ones that can delete or change their uh, settings in the repositories. Pre-assignment, it gives me a link. To, for the students to actually go click on that will clone their this repository into their uh, GitHub account. That's kind of a basic overview. Um, I know we went through it pretty quick and this is a lightning talk, but we are, um, I know Kevin and I are more than welcome to answer any questions that anybody has um, or walk through more workflows. Um, we tried this our first year and I think GitHub itself wasn't quite advanced enough for what we were trying to do, but it seems like they made a lot of strides in the past couple of years. So we tried it out again this year and it's been working really, really well for us. Yeah. 
and I mean, one thing about it is we're constantly trying to find ways to improve it. Mm -hmm. um, one thing I've been starting to research a little bit is how to do auto grading to test for testing purposes. Um, looking at Travis CI right now, but I haven't quite got that worked out yet. It's being a teacher of a bunch of classes. It kind of takes time for me to work it out. But again, this one thing we've been working on and tweaking it all year and we'll probably continue tweaking it and get better workflows.